Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Saturday night of wrestling action here in the King's Sportatorium. Oh, we've got some special action for you here tonight. And we're going to start it off right tonight. We're going to start it off by introducing for the first time ever live here in the King's Sportatorium, the announcers for RWA TV. Brandon Wallace and Greg Russell. Now, many of you know what's been going on with these guys. You know that there's been an ongoing feud between Mr. Russell and a gentleman named Bud Tropel who has on the front row with Bud Row, 970 AM talk radio, sports radio. And I told Bud this week, leave me out of it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm out of this. I'm not doing it no more. So I'm going to hand it over to these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for coming out for Saturday Night Wrestling here at Royal Wrestling Alliance. And we also thank you for tuning in every Tuesday night on RWA TV on Suddenly Channel 22. Just out of curiosity, we're wondering how many of you guys are fans of the RWA TV show. All right. Hey, let me tell you something, Wallace. I can remember back whenever I was just a, a little big boy, my grandfather, the legendary Memphis wrestling announcer, Lance Russell. He used to tell me that in his opinion, the greatest wrestling fans in all of the world were right here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Right you are, Greg. Right you are. And you know, as I look around the crowd tonight, I gotta say that he may have been right about the best fans, and they may be the best fans in the world, but they certainly are not the best looking fans. Whoa, 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 Greg, Greg, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Whoa. Seriously, Wallace, I mean, take a look at some of them. Look at that, look at that guy right there. Look at that guy right there in, in the gray shirt. Can we get a camera on that guy? I mean, that's a, that's a face. That's a face only a mother can love if that mother just happened to be an orangutan. Hey, Greg, whoa, stop, 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 stop. We aren't going to let you come out here and offend the fans. I, I knew you had the gall to do it on TV, but I didn't think you had the gall to do it live. It, if you haven't been watching the show, guys, Greg Russell is, uh, is pretty good at offending people. If you've been watching on Tuesday nights, he's been offending a uh, local, local talk show. Talk sports show host, Bud Shropel. Bud Shropel. Bud Shropel. Right. Yes. Bud Shropel. Let me tell you all about Bud Shropel. Bud Rowe, as he is commonly known, he hosts a little radio show here in town that comes on on the ESPN affiliate, AM 970, every weekday from 7 to 9. And it's a local sports talk radio show. It's called On the Front Row with Bud Rowe. Radio, and it is radio for dumb people. That's exactly what on the front row with Bud Row is. Ridiculous, Greg. That is a great show, and you know it. I listen to that show every morning. Also, you, you like on the front row. With I Bud love Rowe? that show. Is it not a great show? Thank you. You see, I rest my case. It's radio for dumb people. That's ridiculous, Greg. That's ridiculous. If, if you haven't been watching, here's what Greg said. A couple weeks ago. That's right. A couple weeks ago, Greg Russell recorded a fake commercial for Bud Stropel. And, and he called it Radio for Dumb People. He put pictures of, of Bud's collars that were very unbecoming, to say the least. And then just last week at Summer Celebration, our special one-hour show, Greg recorded his apology right back there before the show started. He talked about Bud and Wendy, which is Bud's wife, and he put up another very unbecoming picture. And then for Bud's children, 
He put up pictures of monkeys. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, we got a surprise for Greg Russell here tonight. Because you see, just two days ago, Greg called in to the talk show and told Budro that, that if he was man enough, he would come out to the King's Sportatorium tonight. Well, guess what, Greg Russell? He is here tonight. Hit his music. Budro's here? He is here. Russell's grandson, which is Bull. I haven't said a word about what you said about me the last month. But when you said something about my wife, there's a line. You stepped right up to it. But when you said something about my kids and showed those pictures of the monkeys, you stepped over the line, my friend. I'm not gonna take that much more, so I demand right now an apology from you. Mr. I only have two words for you, sir. Yeah, what are they? You're right. I'm sorry. I genuinely, I genuinely am sorry. My behavior has been very unprofessional. It's been very hurtful to you and your family, and I know that. And I'm sorry. And I want to apologize right here on TV to all your listeners, to the callers that I offended, and especially, but I want to apologize to you and your wife and your beautiful children, Grace and Braxton. And I know, bud, I know, I can tell by the way you're looking at me. You really don't know if you believe this or not. I know talk is cheap. So, I've got a little gift tonight for your children. A little token of my sincere apology that I want to present to you. It's something I know your kids will enjoy. And I want you to take it home and give it to your children, okay? For just one second. Sounds good. I appreciate it. There you go, bud. Give that to your kids. I'm sorry, bud. I'm, I'm sorry.
Come on. Listen. Break. Hey, you guys haven't got to stay in the rear. I'm a man of my word, all right? Back off. Look, Frank. You told me you're going to stay out of it. I didn't trust you. I thought you may be in on all this. But I believe you. You are a man of your word. You weren't in on this. But I'm asking you. I'm begging you. I'm pleading with you. Give me a match with this guy. Right now. I want him. I got to have him. He's insulting my kids. Stop. Stop. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you something. You cross the line when you put your hands on one of my employees. What? I would do this for any of them, but I am not going to let you. You think that we were using you for to promote our company? Yeah. You've been using us to promote your two-bit little radio show. You're nothing but a two-bit AM jock that doesn't even deserve to be around people like this. Get this clown out of my building. Oh, 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 Get him hey. out of my building. Hey, hey. Hold on. Get him out of my building now. Big man got these guys. I can't handle them. But you remember, you remember, I've got a lot of friends. And I've got a lot of friends in this business. And I've got a lot of friends, some big friends. The RWA, this ain't over. Well, you remember one thing. Those friends you have, I pay him.